Okay, so hello, my name is Jasveer and today I will be presenting to you how we can add the multi-entity fields to the Microsoft Dynamics Word templates and also I will walk you through how you can print the logos by entity uh, on the uh, Word templates. Before we go into the Word templates, I just want to walk you through how you can add extra fields from the multi-entity product to the any report in GP. And if you are familiar with the report writer, you know, know that you can modify any GP reports to have the entity ID fields uh, or many different fields like department ID, entity name, uh, billing address, and so on. Uh, Multi-entity documents uh, shows you how you can do that. I will briefly touch on this one. So in my case, I took RM blank document, which is the receivables invoices you will be sending to the customers. So I'll, what I did is I added the entity name onto it. So to do that, I created this calculated field, uh, which basically takes some parameters. It is from multi-entity products, and multi-entity document provides you these parameters. It tells you what parameters and what they mean and how you uh, should pass them. In my case, I'm passing it to last constant, which is three, bit, which means I'm, I want to print my entity name whenever this report prints. And I created this uh, calculated field and drag on to this report, and, which, and I add it to here. So that's my modified report in GP. And now let's go back to GP. All right. So then we already modified the report. Next thing to do is to assign the uh, security to that modified report. You can go to the alternate modify form security uh, window and you can assign the security to this new modified report. In my case, it's a RM blank document and I assign to Microsoft Dynamics GP modified. So now if I go to my transactions in receivables and I print this one, this particular report, and uh, you will see that uh, I have that entity name field. If you see my entity is 100, so my uh, name for that entity is administration. So there you go, it prints entity name on top here, uh, and uh, the administration is the name for this particular entity. So now the question is Microsoft provides the template. So instead of printing these report writer reports, you could print nice template in Microsoft Word which looks better and you can send to your uh, clients. And Microsoft provides you number of reports by default where the templates comes, comes on. So how, the question is how you can add these fields to these uh, templates because if you see the original report, this is original template, if we print this one, it won't show you the entity name on there. So I will, do, I will walk you through how you can create your template with the modified report. If you click on top, you will see the list of the report and one of them is RM blank document modified. This is the report we just saw in report writer and I added the entity name field on that. So let's select this one. I have a bunch of uh, uh, templates already created for this. We will create a brand new one so you can see how you can add uh, these fields. So let's go ahead and click a new. When I click on a new, I have a choice to create a blank or I can create from existing. Creating it from a blank template is a lot longer and you will need to go through each field. You need a lot in-depth knowledge of uh, programming how to do it. So we will choose the from a default template. This template is the default template provided by GP. And you see there is a star on the back. That means it's the default template. And we will copy from this one and then modify that. So I'll name it MAM4 and I say create. So this template is created. Now we can modify. Highlight that and click on modify. and we see this template in Microsoft Word. Now, you see on right hand side there is a tab, Developers tab. That by default Microsoft Word won't have that tab. To, to have this tab you will need to install the Microsoft add-in for the uh, Microsoft Word which comes along with the Microsoft uh, GP installation. 
files and the tools or you can download it from Microsoft to partner source. So let's go ahead and modify, uh, highlight this uh, particular report. First of all, let's see the grids. What that shows, it shows me all the columns and uh, makes easier to add the new fields. And then next, if we click on Developers tab, uh, you see the field list over here. Click on that one and you see on right hand side there's an XML resource. This is the resource that uh, GP automatically created when we created this template. So if I highlight, you will see this, there you go, we see the template name, uh, the entity name and the VSSI entity name which is our calculated field on this report. So to add on to this report, first you have to choose the one of the row and column where you want to add it. So in our case, we will add it here. But if you see it, this is one single row. I, have, I need to divide it into two particular columns so that I can put the caption and I can get the value. So just to right click on this one and you can split the cells and split into two. So now you have a two cell and one row you can drag a little bit closer if you want. And now we will go back and drag our fields. First we will drag the caption. That's my entity name caption and then I will drag my uh, value. So there you go. That's that's what we added our new entity name on this template. So we go back to our grids and we will turn off the grids. And also one of the things you can turn on your design mode if you want to. That shows you more fields if you want to see. But you, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. This is just showing all the fields available on this report. So you can remove them. You can add more fields uh, if you want to. In this case, we're just working with the entity name, but as I mentioned, you can add department ID, department name, uh, billing address, shipping address, and contact name. So you can refer back to the multi-entity document to add those fields onto the modified reports, and then same approach you can take to add to these templates. So let's turn off our design mode and go back to save as. If you save it by default, it save it to your Windows temp folder, which is harder to find. So what I will do, I will say save as. Rather than saving it on my temp folder, I created a different folder because I need this template later on. So facility logo, I will add save it here. So I save this and I will close this one. Comes back to GP. Now we need to select that template we just created. So we created MAM4 template. I'll open it. It will ask to override. Yes, I want to override. So we did our work. We added uh, the entity name field onto it. Next thing is to assign it. Now I can assign to one company or more than one company. In my case, it's Fabricam, and I assign to that. And I say set this as a default. What does that mean is that every time this report prints, by default, this uh, template will print because I have a multiple templates to choose. So I tell, I'm telling the system that I want to print the MAM4 template by default. Save that. And I save this option. So now this template is my default template. And th we are done with the uh, modifying the template. So now next option I want to show you, we will print together. but. First, let me show you the uh, logo functionality. In Microsoft, you can go to configuration and it allows you to define the images. What those images do, they print on your reports. Basically, if uh, uh, you have a logo for a company, you would like to print it on the invoices you send to the client. And Microsoft allows you to have one logo per company. Uh, with multi-entity, you could have a many entities in single database. So, and each entity could have its own logo, which you would like to print on the uh, on your uh, invoices on different templates. So, what we do in the recent version of MEM, there is a functionality called logo by entity. If you look under multi-entity company, there is a, a option for logo by entity. Click on this one. It allows you to set up the uh, logo for each entity. In my case, I have a for 100, 
I selected uh, 4JPEG, that's one of my template for 100, and I selected 5 for the 200, which is this logo over here. Okay, so now we, we have done our work, we've done the setup, let's go to our receivables and print out some of the transaction. So uh, uh, this one belongs to 100 entity and I'm going to print this. And if you see by default saying template because we selected it to print to the Microsoft Word. So we say screen, we click on OK. And if you see it, there you go, it printed the entity name. Entity name for 100 is administration, so it printed on the report and you see the logo it printed. So if you see it's cutting out a little bit uh, on the top, so you have to adjust the length of your images or your logos accordingly so because uh, there is only a specific size which is allowed on Microsoft Word and uh, you can refer back to Microsoft document regarding the size or you can just uh, reduce the size and run it and see what size fits in. That's one of so and then let's print for one for 200. So we go in here and we print another option here and it's a different template now printed by, for, because we set up the different logo for 200. So the logo printed by entity and also you see the entity name for which is accounting for 200. So if you see how you can configure, uh, configure these templates to print many different fields from multi-entity and uh, you can have a different logo by entity. So it's very useful when you have your each entity has a different logo and you have uh, many different fields and you can customize them according to your needs. You can refer to, uh, to multi-entity documentation regarding what fields you can add to the reports and uh, how, what parameters you need to pass in. You will need uh, some knowledge about report writer to do it. So if you have that knowledge, you can easily modify these ones. Uh, that's it for uh, today's presentation. Thank you very much.